getting up, man. Nah, I know. I mean, I'll get up. You don't gotta get up. He says you just gonna hang. Here, yeah, we just put him in the background. You know in the background. There he is. He in the background. Cigarette too. <laughs> So to start off with you guys, I just got done doing a review on Earth's Blood, and I've been a fan of your guys' stuff for a while now. This is definitely one of the tightest albums you put out. Oh, I'm thank really you. impressed with it. Thank you, thank you. Um, with the way that the music industry is going with sales-wise and everything, what do you feel you guys can do to help boost it back up to where it once was? I mean, as a band, boosting record sales back up? I just think you need to write an album that is like something that the kids want to buy, you know what I mean, as far as, as opposed to downloading. You got to give them, you know, something worth having, you know, because, I mean, we live in an age right now where, you know, the iPod is the king and it's so easy to carry all your albums in one little compartment in your pocket. So I think that you need to, uh, you know, have like nice artwork, you know, have people in the band saying something important inside as well as having lyrics readily available for them to read if they want to read them you know I mean it's but as long as kids are listening to the music and enjoying it and coming out the shows I mean that's all that really matters for us you know what I mean I mean the only the only people that are really getting hurt are the record industry you know what I mean they're losing money as opposed to you know the bands who make the music who really don't see any money anyway so it really doesn't matter at this point as long as the music can be heard and people can decipher it for themselves you don't think the record labels actually have too many bands on their labels nowadays and don't spend the right money to promote the right bands? Well, that's the thing. I mean, who knows which band is the right band? You know what I mean? It's like, if the music is good, I think it'll speak for itself. You know, it speaks volumes as opposed to, you know, too many bands out there. I mean, everyone should have a chance to have their music be heard. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of deciphering which music is more for your palate. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, I, I really don't give a fuck, to be honest, man. I mean, we're making music, we're enjoying what we're doing, and, you know, the people that listen and buy our records enjoy what we do. So, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters to me. That and paying my bills. So, what is, what is your opinion on downloading with sites like Crosswire, Limeware that's free, and then you got iTunes that people actually pay for your guys' stuff? Well, I mean... I'm a small fish in a big ass pond. It ain't gonna matter what I say as far as downloading goes. I can be for it or I could be against it. Like I said, at the end of the day, if kids hear something that they downloaded that they like, if they come out to the show, purchase a shirt, you know what I'm saying, or hang out with the band, say hello, that's the best I can hope for, you know what I mean? Because that interaction between band and fan has totally been strained. And you know, I think, you know, we're here because people like what we do and they want the opportunity to to you know, run into bands that they like. So to be at a show and hang out, I think is the best thing that we could do to kind of, you know, I want to say like combat, you know, downloading, but you can't really do nothing about it. Information, man, it's free. You know what I'm saying? There's the internet. What can you do? So you just deal with it. God forbid's been on some pretty killer tours with some damn good bands. What's it like for you guys to be on this kind of tour here at the festival? With? Cannibal Corpse that's been around for 20 plus years and, and Slayer and Manson. Well, I, I just think we're in the spot we need to be at, you know, playing for mass quantities of people, <clears throat> you know, showing them a little metal, God forbid, style, and we're just going to make the best of an opportunity which we've been allotted. You know what I mean? I feel honored to be here. You know what I mean? I'm, we've been doing it for 10 years, so we ain't really stopping anytime soon. So, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, knuckling up and doing what you got to do, you know what I'm saying, so your voice be heard. So you're a lot like me, then you can see yourself still doing this another 10, 15 years now. I wouldn't say all that, man. I'm I'm getting kind of old, I'm kind of broken and shit, you know what I'm saying? The bands are getting younger day by day, but, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to hurt that shit as much as I, you know, humanly possibly can, you know. I'm going to have a good time. They're going to remember me when it's all said and done, so that's, that's all I can really hope for, you know. Well, I'm 40 years old, and I've been doing this since I was 13 with fans, Metal Church, Queens Rock Hall. And I'll tell you what, it's been really amazing because I'm hard to impress, and you guys have done a damn good job. Thank you. Well, thank you for, you know, taking the time out and watching us, you know, and, you know, partaking in the God forbid experience and enjoying yourself because that's all we really want at the end of the day. Everybody that comes out and sees the band, you know, let them have a good time and enjoy themselves. So I'm glad we did our job. Thank you. No problem.